Hello, y'all. This is Tim Nutt here, and uh, this is the homework assignment for lesson 10. Uh, actually, a culmination between 9 and 10, but it was given in lesson 10. In the incredible uh, new and improved Arduino tutorial series by Paul McCorder. Uh, the videos I'm doing in this series are beginner-based homework videos. Uh, we're using only what has been presented so far in the course. And hopefully someone can follow along if they're having trouble. They've never programmed before. Uh, and maybe they won't get overwhelmed by a, a bunch of fancy ways of doing things. So this would be real basic. Uh, I'm going to take a couple extra steps than uh, what he showed in there. But... Not really, since he brought a multimeter out. We're just going to do a couple extra things with the multimeter and double check. But the homework assignment for this lesson is uh, to pick two different resistors and place them in series with 5 volts. And then do a circuit analysis uh, using Ohm's Law. Figure up uh, what our uh, 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 solve for I which are current, and then calculate how much voltage should be across each resistor, R1 and R2. And then we're going to read uh, from, uh, from the Arduino and put it on the serial monitor, uh, the, that voltage through some calculations. So let me, uh, I forgot to take a couple things out of the way here real quick. Before we get started. All right. So let's uh, go over to this other screen. <clears throat> First of all, we need to. Uh, uh, I want. Uh, it's supposed to be five volts, but I want to put a multimeter on it, and we're gonna see if we can get a little more exact there. Let's hook our ground up. And let's bring our five volts in. We'll put that there. It'll go in. All right, now, and it's close to five volts, and we probably don't need to do this, but I just want to measure and see exactly what the voltage we're getting out of there is. Uh, 5.07. All right, so let's pull that out of here and bring up. Uh, I don't have a fancy scratch pad, so I'm gonna make my comments on here. So, V is equal to 5.07 volts. All right. Now the two resistors I picked, they're supposed to be a uh, uh, 10K and a 1K, but I'm gonna measure them and we'll use uh, whatever values the meter says instead of the, cause there's a tolerance there. So this one showing 9.92 on a 20K scale, so that's a, uh, this is a 10K, so 9,920 ohms is what we'll uh, move that over there. That's what we'll put, and we'll put that one in there. And let's uh, move this so I can type here. So R1 is equal to 99. What did I say? Nine nine. I don't forgot. I'm sorry. It's uh, it's been a long day. It's uh, one, almost one o'clock in the morning here. Yeah, nine nine two zero. And I drove all day, and I got to get up and drive tomorrow. But I did want to get at least one video in. Uh, homework before I went to bed. So here we go, and here's the second one showing. I'll bring us where you can see it better there. Showing 970 ohms because it's on a 20k scale. 
It's a 970 ohm resistor. Let's put that in real quick. And R2 is equal to 970. All right. Let's, uh, now we need to solve for, figure out what our current is. And that part of the Ohm's law is it solve for I is equal to the volts divided by resistance. So we got 5.07 volts. And then, well, first we need to add up, uh, let's bring our calculator up here. Oh. Right, there we go. <coughs> and let me bring my code window back up for me. All right, so uh, let's add these two together, 9920 plus nine seven zero is equal to ten thousand eight ninety let's uh, make another line here real quick i forgot to put this in so r1 plus r2 equals one ten eight nine zero all right so Volts divided by resistance, so that's going to be divided by 10890 equals, let's do that real quick. So we got 5.07, oh, I don't know what I hit there, 5.07 divided by 10890, and that gives us a uh, 4.65 to the E minus 4. We need the E minus 3. So move that 1 to the left. That would be 0.465. We'll, say point, we'll just say 0.46. So 0.46. And that is milliamps. So our current is 0.46 milliamps. Now just because we have the multimeter out... Let's go ahead and we'll verify that with a multimeter. And that way we'll know our math's correct, the reading's correct, we're doubly sure. So let me open up a hole here so that I can uh, measure that there. Basically make an open in the circuit. And let's see if I can get my leads in here right. Zero point, I'm going to slide this over you can see it here. Zero point four six. Well, it looks like our math's correct. Either that or the math and the meter is wrong and somehow they got the right answer. And if that's the case, uh, maybe I need to buy a lottery ticket. Uh, but <laughs> that's not likely to happen. All right, so now we know our, our current. So now we need to solve see what the voltage should be across R1 and R2. So in order to do that, to find the volts, we need to multiply I times R1. And let's put over here so we get volt 1. So we get volts there. V1 equal to I times R1 is equal. So it's going to be a point, actually, since we're going milliamps to volts, we're going to add three more zeros on the milliamps. So point zero 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 four six times, and R1 was 9920, 9920 equal to, let's go ahead and do that here. So 0 0.00046 times 
times 9920, 4.56, say, say 4.6 volts, 4.6 volts. Now let's do the same for V2 and R2 is equal to I times R2. And that is equal to 0 0.00046 times, and that was 970 equals. Now let's see what the calculator says. 0 0 0 0 4 6 times 970 zero, right, 0 0.446 we'll say 0 0.45 and we're rounding there so 0 0.45 volts is what we should get across R2 and that's what we're going to be measuring there with the Arduino so we got Three, we're gonna put that in the middle for our code there. Put that in A3. And actually, let's go ahead and, since we have the meter out here, let's go ahead and see if our calculations are correct there first. Uh, pretty sure they are, but we're going to uh, check anyway. So across R1, Oh, I guess it would help if I uh, close the circuit back up from when I was uh, measuring the current. Otherwise, uh, it's going to keep saying zero volts. So, make sure you can see that there. Cross 4.1, that's 4.6, just like we calculated. And that's 0.45, just like we calculated. Good deal. We verified that. Now we need to code so that we can display it on our serial monitor. Let's get rid of the calculator. And we'll open the serial monitor up. So we, can, we don't need it yet, but it'll be there. So now let's declare our variables. So we have an int. As, as we're using pin A3, so we'll do read pin is equal to A3. All right, we need another int for our read val. Read value, and we don't need to declare that. It'll uh, it'll get figured out in the code. And we need a del delay. So DT is equal to, we'll do half a second there. Now we need a float for V2. That's the one we're trying to uh, read there. V2. So we got a read pin. We got a read valve. We got delay. We got our D2. Technically, that should have been up there. Could have been up there. But I, I like keeping everything kind of organized, even when I'm tired. But, all right. Now we need to do our pin mode. All right, pin mode is going to be uh, read pin, and is it input? And we need to start our serial monitor. That begin ninety six hundred baud. All right, so now. To start our code uh, read, we're going to need our uh, read val. And here's where our analog write that we've been uh, learning about comes in. And A L O G and L. Let's see. Equals. Right. What am I doing right? Yeah, that's right. Read val, analog write, 
Told you it's been a long day here. Uh, now, I think it's supposed to be... Let me think about this for a minute. Uh, no. Yeah, I knew that was... Uh, it didn't sound right. Read Val. There we go. Our Frenchie's going the other side of analog right. And for our parameter we need, we have read val equals analog right, which is uh, read pin. Okay, that should be the only parameter there. Then V2 is gonna be equal to, uh, I, I, so what did I say our voltage was? 5.07. 0 0.07 divided by 1023. I'm going to add the decimal there. And multiply that by read val. That should be uh, 5 divided by there times the read val. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now we need to serial dot print and I want to do uh, kind of I, I like it formatted kind of nice there uh, or at least try to anyway so we're going to uh, print see the oh we need our quotation marks yeah the ah if I can type voltage across R2 is parentheses alright, voltage across R2 is and then serial dot PRI serial dot print V2 V2 and that'll get our what our V2 is there uh, after the from this calculation and then let's just make it a there dot print we'll make this the ending so print line space B let's do a, actually let's do a period then the quotation marks there we go that way it should say the voltage across R2 is then the volts and then the V now we need a delay almost forgot our delay Otherwise, it'll go by so quick we won't see it update. Now, let's see if we got all this. Uh, right, we got our read pin, read valve, delay, the float, pin mode, we begin serial, read valve equals analog write, which is uh, reading from, uh, it's going to write read pin value, uh, V2 there. I think... We might be ready to go. Let's hold our breath and hope I'm not too tired and miss something there. See what we got. Oh. Void analog right. Read bell. What did I do wrong there? Read val is equal to analog. Ah, we're not writing. That's what I screwed up on. We just was analog read. Oh. Ah, 
that's right. But we're, we're not writing the analog. We're reading the analog. Okay. I told you I was tired there. <laughs> so, too far. Let's try this again here. Oh, and I forgot my semicolon. Uh, there's two. Are we going to make third time's the charm? All right, let's see. What do we get? Air opening comp port. I know you're connected. Sure. Okay. I don't know why it showed an error. All right, let's close this out. I don't know what's going on. Why is it reading that? It should not be reading. Do I have it on? Oh. I put it in the wrong pin. I put it in. Uh, there we go. That's better. I had it in A2 and we put this up for A3. Okay, so the voltage across to R2 is 0.45 volts, which is exactly what we calculated there. So I call that a success. We measured it with a meter, we calculated it the, uh, with the formula, and we're reading it from, there do we know. Now the other one was showing 4.6 volts. So let's just do a quick swap and we'll swap these resistors around and uh, it's going to read some crazy numbers there for a minute. I get these back in. And if I can get them in the right holes here. There we go. We swapped them around. So we're still reading R2, but we put R2 in the other one. We can double check. We calculated up 4.6, but we rounded. It's showing 4.61. I believe we'll take that as a success. So, uh, I don't know why it was, uh, why it gave me that error at opening it. It's already there. But, here we go. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. But anyway, we successfully did it. I hope it wasn't too confusing, it was as tired as I am, but. Uh, I uh, hope somebody, everybody enjoyed it, and hopefully somebody maybe gets a benefit out of it. Feel free to like, comment, share, maybe to help another beginner. I still consider myself a beginner, even though I've been doing this for a couple of years now. Uh, I'm still learning, and there's still many, many people out there that are well pro more proficient than I am. But keep learning every day, having fun, and that's the name of the game there. All right, y'all have a good one. I appreciate it. We'll see y'all uh, next homework lesson. Bye for now.